journalists and political commentators are calling out New York Democrat Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez for her silence in the wake of the Easter Sunday terror attacks on Christians in Sri Lanka, the attacks, pointed at Christians in the area, killed 359, according to recent reports, and local authorities have arrested 40 they believe to be associated with the deadly bombings. The Islamic State group has claimed responsibility for the attack, Fox News reported and even shared images that show seven bombers who blew themselves up at three separate churches and three hotels. The government has also confirmed that the attacks were carried out by Islamic radicals. However, Ocasio-Cortez, who has been tapped by her party to teach others how to best reach their constituents via social media, has been silent about the attacks, a fact that does not sit well with some. Twitter obsessed at UK posted 14 times about the terror attack on Muslims in New Zealand but has posted nothing about the terror attack on Christians by Muslim extremists in Sri Lanka. Very odd, DailyMail.com editor at large Piers Morgan tweeted. Fact, at UK tweeted about the horrific tragedy in New Zealand 14 times. She tweeted about the attack on Christians in Sri Lanka zero times. Why? Turning Point USA's Charlie Kirk chimed in. The recent attack on Muslims, in which a white supremacist gunned down 50 Islamic worshippers in New Zealand, was met with outcry by both liberals and conservatives alike. The New York Democrat herself tweeted about the attack the Trump administration and gun control in the United States in the aftermath of the brutal killing. At first I thought of saying, imagine being told your house of faith isn't safe anymore. But I couldn't say imagine. Because of Charleston, Pittsburgh, Sutherland Springs. What good are your thoughts and prayers when they don't even keep the pews safe? One of her tweets read. She also wrote, Daily reminder that we have a Muslim ban in this country made out of the president's hostility to Muslim people with little to no supporting evidence, and a Republican party that tolerates it. There is so much work to do. Repealing the ban is square one.